Thank you so much. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Shelly Morris. I'm super excited to be here uh, to share with you guys kind of a little bit about my career path um, and my journey, my experience at Viacom CBS, a little bit about what I do, and then I'll kind of give you all a few examples of some of the things that my team works on um, and provides in support of literally all of my colleagues that are on the phone today. Um, just a few quick fast facts about me um, and my career path. I actually am a native Washingtonian, so I grew up um, right down the street from all of you all. Um, I spent a lot of time on the cathedral clothes and also on the AU campus just hanging out. Um, I was actually started off my journey in school as a poli sci major uh, with a concentration in law and political philosophy, yet I graduated with a mechanical engineering degree. Um, I was definitely unsure of what I wanted to do, who I wanted, where I wanted to go, um, what job I was going to get into, let alone that I would end up in consumer products. But somewhere along the line, uh, between then and now, um, I wore a lot of different hats, did a lot of different internships, and took on a lot of different jobs from consulting. I did SAP consulting at one time. I did systems migrations at GW. I designed cars in the automotive industry. Um, I worked in nonprofit doing PR and marketing, um, and I also worked on creating kind of different branded experiences um, in both automotive as well um, as with um, some other online carriers. And But along the way, I really met a lot of amazing people. And what's most important is really what I kind of learned about myself, um, what I learned about what I wanted to do and what I was passionate about, and also what I didn't like to do. Um, so... For the most part, I really learned that I love problem solving. Um, I love people and organizations and how they work. I love connecting people with brands and products and information and experiences. And, you know, to be honest, I think that I realized in general, I also love to watch TV and sports. Um, and so I kind of just made the decision that I was going to find a way to bring it all together. I didn't know how. I didn't know what I was going to do, but some way I was going to bring it all together. And I think that it was really huge for me to realize that because if you really enjoy what you do um, and you enjoy kind of going into work each day, it makes even the tough days easy. Um, and so I realized, too, I didn't want to be bored. I wanted to do something different. And one day I got lucky um, with a random click to an Indeed job posting. Um, and I applied to a job at Nickelodeon. And when I did it, I said to myself, wow, like this seems so cool. Like I would love to work for Nickelodeon with a lot of shows that I really enjoyed watching growing up. And I said, I literally just started thinking about who I knew. Who do I knew that's either in New York or in media and entertainment? And I literally just started calling everyone, whether they were at Viacom or Nickelodeon or not. I just started doing informational interviews with everyone. Um, and somehow I really got a chance to get this opportunity, which ended up letting me lean into all of those experiences, all of those passions. And I think this quote kind of really sums up what I get to do. And that's numbers have an, an important story. And with that, they rely on me to really give them a clear and convincing voice. Um, and that's kind of how I landed it insights and analytics with Viacom CBS. So just to kind of get an idea of what our team goes, a lot of it kind of has been touched upon, whether it was Pam or, or Haley, um, but we really kind of utilize data um, and leverage data to understand consumers, um, to understand viewers, and to understand just how people are navigating the world and buying our products. So on the left side, you kind of see um, what the different aspects of our team are. We have a group that really focuses on ratings, um, what do we watch um, every day. Another group is paying attention to the digital analytics. So how I engage online, what am I streaming? What platforms are people streaming on? But in the orange box is kind of the area in which the consumer products insights and analytics team focuses. Um, we actually figure out how do you extend the brand on shelf um, and in various experiences that will let you, let you touch on products. So we really are working to figure out in consumer products, how do, you extend, how do you extend your brand and how do you extend fandom for the content that people are watching? Um, we have one side, which is really looking at the consumer and shoppers um, and kind of digital, you know, how do I feel about brands? What's, 
what's the, my affinity to a brand? How much do I love it? And how do those, how does that fandom or that act of fandom drive actual sales for products? And then specifically for my myself, I actually do a little more support that leans into market analytics and retail analytics. So how do I engage at retail? What do I buy? Um, where did I buy it? What did I buy? Why did I buy it? What influenced that purchase decision? And honestly, what am I looking to buy next? So we're constantly trying to understand, you know, what consumers are thinking. Um, you know, are they watching content? Where are they watching it? And can we put product or integrate product um, into that content or into that experience? Um, and we use all of that data and all that information to support a lot of the teams on the call, um, such as franchise strategy, such as the Star Wars team, um, Star Trek team, huh, um, the Star Trek team, um, supporting the toy team and the apparel team. Um, and also we work very strongly with true research teams, the groups that run the various focus groups um, to understand what's going on with content, what people love, as well as like the theatrical component. Um, so, um, you know, we also, you know, share the world with Paramount. So the world extends beyond just Viacom CBS, but into this Paramount movie world, um, which you have The Godfather and Clueless and all of Breakfast at Tiffany's, all of these classic theatricals um, that people love to bring into their everyday life with product. Um, and so we're constantly looking at our portfolio as well as the competitive portfolio to figure out what we can do and how we can extend ourselves into our consumers' homes. And so a typical day for me um, is quite all over the place, but I love it that way. Um, we do get a lot of data, um, as, ha as Haley mentioned, we have external data sources that tell us about what's going on in the toy industry, what's going on in video gaming, what's going on in the home industry, um, and all these exciting categories um, down to the product level. And then we also are paying attention to what our products, products are doing. Um, and so we're constantly putting out just general reports to try and keep everyone informed about what's going on um, in the industry and also within our business. And then we're digging into that analysis to figure out how we can really provide some actionable insights. So for example, if we're gonna do a movie launch right now, um, theaters are closed. Um, so as you're launching you know, a movie, how can you really market that movie in the right market? So we'll look at some of the product data and figure out where do we already have strong product sales? And maybe in those markets, we have marketing initiatives because we know that fandom is big, but maybe there are other areas in which we're seeing that we're getting pretty solid sales, but we could do more. And so maybe we'll put a little bit more marketing efforts behind that, behind the movie, which will also drive product sales. Um, and so we'll constantly do analysis like that to figure out how to help the business and then find ways to tell the story, um, how we can communicate it internally, as well as how we can work with the teams to communicate that information externally as well. And so that's kind of a typical day in the life. Um, and then just to kind of walk you through um, a higher level trends conversation that we would have, it is looking at kind of what happened, right? COVID happened in 2020. Um, people changed how they were living their lives. Um, they were inside more figuring out how they can create these spaces for work and play and connecting. Um, I'm sure many of you all changed how you engage with each other. Um, you know, whether you're um, playing different games online, whether you're trying to get outside and be more active, all of those things influence how we view the world and how we create products to engage. How do we help people stay he healthy and well? And also how people just need to respond to this new world of entertainment redefined, right? Um, the customer journey is so different. How you discover even streaming content is different than before. Um, how you go about buying items is different than before. And so we're using all of that to look forward into 2021. Next slide, thanks. And so now we're trying to figure out how do we create products that help you all navigate this new lifestyle. Um, there's a whole nother level of social consciousness um, that's going on in the world of civic engagement. Um, so how do we meet the needs of consumers that way where product is a little bit different um, when it comes to that? And then, you know, even just navigating this new normal and how long will we be wearing um, face masks? How can we ex enhance that experience and help you just express yourself in a different way? And then we're also on the cusp of a new generation um, because we had a major 
event of disruption. So therefore we have, therefore we have a new generation coming on. What will their lives be? And what will parents and moms want their children to kind of have to make this experience better for them? And so that leads us to a new place where we're really working hard with all the teams to expand our product mix, um, figure out who are the right partners to, to join with um, to create these products moving forward, and how do we shift these launch strategies so that they can actually meet you as a consumer exactly where you are and give you the products that you want to have. Um, so that's kind of what I do um, in a nutshell. Um, I'd say, you know, the last things I just want to mention is just continue to dream big. Um, you can definitely do what you love to do. Um, it's out there. Your first job may not be perfect, but just keep learning. Try every experience. Um, never stop trying new, new things. Meet new people. Ask questions. Um, don't underestimate the value of any experience. Um, there will be some setbacks, but just keep breathing and pushing forward.